Later that afternoon, you accompany Volfred through the old masonry of Temple High Road to the monument of Lou Scalorin. Faith is all that brought me all this way, and yet I have great fear about the outcome of our plan. So many here in the Commonwealth have put their faith in it that should we fail? But no, we will not have failed. We will not have failed. He returned to the wagon after he has finished paying his respects. The summit awaits, but first, there is time to continue practicing your vocations. Wolford gained two presents. Problem is, I don't know if I want him there. Um, I don't think I can actually study and get another bonus. So I'm not sure about that. Teach your fellow exiles of the old ways. Or... Maybe try to find valuables. The problem is if we're at the end of the game, what matters here? Am I even able to do this? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Book of Rights. Oh, I can get glory. I actually haven't done the glory. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Give me that. Righteousness. Nice. Cool. Continue my journey <clears throat> to the end of the game. Scribes Gate. It's going to be very interesting. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just like love this guy. A messenger imp somehow tracks you down in the sublime grandeur of Mount Elodiel uh, and delivers to you recent news and rumors from the other side. Specifically, the imp shares details regarding Pamitha and what became of her since she was liberated at the fall. She found herself back in the homeland of her enemies where, despite her connection to the High Wing remnants, her past transgressions were forgiven. In fact, she was asked to join the military council given her unique background, yet she refused to cooperate and instead demanded to be reunited with her sister, Tamitha. But when they threatened her with a resentencing to exile and insisted that she take the opportunity. Pamitha said at last that she would think it over and return with a decision soon. Next, she was seen, however, was among Ulfred, Wolfred's sons and daughters of the revolution, where it is said she has attached her loyalty, at least for the time. You thank, you thank the imp for bringing you this news, which soon gets your companions talking. Never once before had I thought this night felt even a thing for our most bitter enemies, and yet, and yet, having known Pamitha proved eye-opening indeed for this night. I hold to hope that both the Thane sisters one day shall soon join together as part of our good cause. The two of them can help lead us toward a brighter future. Uh, Tito says... It wishes for Pimitha to find her way and her sister in the Commonwealth. We suspect the ancient enmity between the winged and the flightless shall not be soon resolved, if ever at all. In spite of some mixed feelings, the news of Pimitha's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with resolve. One hope. Nice. That's two hope going into this, this trial, so that's, that's really good. You are returned once more to Scribe's Gate, where the Gate Guardian awaits under a dim sky. The exiles of the Nightwings and you, Tarek, this is to be one of our final meetings. Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared, and afterwards, I would have words with you in private, if you please. It seems to me rather late for words now, Tarek, but I shall hear them. Once your charges cross the gate. Now all of you come forward. Please state your names and what it is you seek whilst crossing the scribe's gate. Once more, your companions cross the gate one after another and once more you follow them in turn. Celeste regards you all and waves you through towards the summit. The eight scribes bid the Nightwings welcome. Go forth with glory. And Tarek. I, Celeste, you may rejoin the others in a while. For now, 
I would hear those words of yours. Certainly, Celeste. <laughs> I should it. Everyone, I shall see you shortly. It's about time. It's about time. Oh, that's them singing. I get it. I could go talk to him, and I should. Uh, uh, hey, hey, guys, it's uh, gotten really cold up here. It's it's worth. Let me tell you, gotta get a lot of customers been stopping by. Okay, I'm a bit, a bit exaggerated. It's just a little. It's, it's, maybe I'm waiting here just a little. I guess so. But are uh, you, you buying anything? No. I kind of ruined the song then. <laughs> That's so nice, isn't it? What was that? 20. Yep, let's go back. Cheap steaks. <laughs> get, get out of here. Hey! I don't like him. <laughs> I mean, I like him, but I don't like him, you know what I mean? So we're going to go to Bertrude, and we're going to switch these out. Um, because, well, honestly, that's way better for her. And we'll go back. And we shall commence uh, the liberation rite. Finally. The time has come again to deliver one of your fellow exiles to a homecoming in the Commonwealth, lest your adversaries, the dissidents, achieve the same instead. The lone minstrel has returned and approaches you as you, uh, uh, approaches as you await the signal from the stars. There's something that I wish to ask you, Rita. Something which ordinarily would not be my place to discuss in any detail. You have observed the stars. If you would not mind my asking you in such a direct manner, how many liberation rites are you supposing yet remain? Uh, is this is this the very last? Perhaps Lone Mitchell asked the leading question to break the news that this is your final stand. You guess that perhaps this is to be the very last liberation rite, given that the stars have continued fading and all, but the lone minstrel only shakes his head. Nay, Rita, sir. More than one remains, provided that you also count the liberation rite commencing any moment. I wish to make certain that you were aware, so that you and the Nightwings may yet make the most of your remaining time together thus. As to what shall happen once the final liberation rite is ended, we shall both find out. But look, it seems that we are called upon once more. Look forth. Okay, so this isn't the last one. What is happening? But that means we have a chance. We need to play with Volford. We need Volford in because he needs to level up so we can get his challenge right done. That's the key here. It probably would have been beneficial for me to take the XP bonus for this one, but I feel like if I can get all of the buffs going into the final one, then we're good. Rita, I would ask that you think back for just a moment, if you please. When you first looked upon the Book of Rights, think back upon the words that it revealed. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Hmm. Would that the scribes were here among us still. I will not sing your praises to them, rest assured. I trust that you shall savor this occasion. You shan't have to oblige me for much longer. The pie is burned. Each of the triumphants is present and prepared. I concur. Pyre's burn, each of the triumphants is present and prepared. Then, anointed ones of the dissidents, come forth now and declare yourself. Pay any respects that you have unto your adversaries, the night rings. <laughs> I love these guys. Barker bursts out from some hidden corner, laughing as he paws at his mask. A oh, real pleasure to be here, mates. Truly, Baka Ashpals. Call me Baka. Though, all right. 
That's a weird question. But I, the by, it's a real piss to get in here, you know. Begging your pardon, Barker Ashpaz, and thusly, you thusly speak upon the summit of the sacred mountain. Ay, my, so terribly sorry to offend you there, lassie. Forgot we got to the stars above there to make me watch my language. Though let's not, let's get one thing straight, lassie. I don't give a bother for your sacred mountain, so you take it and you shove it. Me and my pack, we're here just for the laughs, you got that? The other side ain't any better than this one. We ain't interested in your freedom. But, just the same, we're gonna get it. Take it from those wee little babbies there, so antsy for what? Hear that, you Nightwings? You better put up a good fight, dear. Or I ain't gonna be happy, you understand? He shoves his mask back on. Right, then, come on, let's hurry up, get this damn thing started. Oh, Barker. And night rings, your choice. In whose name you shall conduct deliberation, right? I wish you the wisdom of the scribes in making your choice, Rita. And I wish you to come prepare your song with me, Tarek. Ooh, the way she said that. Mm -hmm. Whom you attempt to send home this time? Sir Gilman. Gilman. Has this knight at last regained his honor? Let us find out now. Who shall be at his side? Bertrude. Bertrude. Because she's awesome. Then we shall do what is within our power for that one. Let us prevail on this night for you, Sir Gilman, and for the good of our ailing nation. Here we go, baby. Alright then, mates, no more waiting, no more holding back. Let's rip them to shreds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And the fun music. Fun music? Not fun music. <laughs> Got it. <sighs> Had to aim it properly, but I got it. Let's put that there. <laughs> Sucker. Nope. Nope. Whew. It's kind of cool. I just noticed that it actually has part of their music going on. Take it. Oh, did I just get a triple? I did. Um, actually, I got an achievement for that, too, which is nice. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't get this thing out there. All right, she needs to go. Oh, that's so cool that it does. I didn't notice that it does that with the music. I got to take these guys out. Did I get both of them? No, I got one of them. Okay. Wait for it. Leap. Get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that it has the dissidence music and, and the uh, liberation music going on. They're closing in on me. I gotta jump. <laughs> Garen Corb is amazing with music. What in the- All right, mate, something's gonna write funny with that orb, I can tell. Better laugh it up while you still can, I. Indeed, something strange seems to have happened to the celestial orb. It shudders now as though possessed of some chaotic power as your- as your adversaries. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, switch. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, crap. Where is the orb? Oh, I see it like floats. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't I didn't even see that he passed it. Holy cow, that was a good shot. I did not see that he passed that thing. Go, go, go. How did they do this music so perfectly? It's like the John Williams of video game music. 
I can't believe I got both of them with that, actually. Wait, wait, baby, come back. Why? Ah, oh, crap. Ugh, he's so slow. Okay, Volfred. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I just dunked it with Volfred. That was tough. As for their adversaries, they did not. Thus ends the liberation right. And thus, the scribes have chosen. Goodbye, the my friend. Appointed by the night wings shall be free. Ah, <sighs> little Gilman. Of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. What a joke. Yeah, I was thinking we we're gonna make him cry after all this. Come on, maids. I've had it with the stuck-up place. And let's get out of here already. I, <laughs> I like Gilman. I'm gonna miss doing his voice. He's, his is my favorite voice to do. Sir G <laughs> He just woed. Sir Gilman stares at nothing in particular. You sense he is still taking in what has transpired and what it means for him. So then, this knight he is to be free? He is to be free? Nay, but that would mean... That would mean... Why, that would mean his honor is restored. One cannot go back into the commonwealth by any other means. This knight's exile was self-wrought, his disgrace profound. That he has been atoned under the eye of the under king and those for all his noble comrades. He begins to grow very emotional and then, this knight loves you all. He loves you all. That you should strive for him and let him join your noble quest. This knight does not feel as though he is deserving of this outcome, yet the results appear inaugurable. Even now, this knight is drawn into the shiver pool. Our time grows brief. Therefore, know this, beloved friends. This knight shall ever strive on your behalf, and there in the commonwealth, though his honor may have been restored. His true journey only begins now. And so, good friends of the Night Wings, this knight must now bid you farewell. However, the bonds performed together shan't be broken by mere distance. Nay, strive on, good friends, strive on. You can still hear Gilman as he vanishes in the shimmer pool. If this lowly knight could have achieved such a glory, surely can you all. For now, farewell, farewell. Okay, cool. <laughs> Godspeed, Sir Gilman. I'm gonna miss his voice. I do like doing his voice. The cycle of the rights is nearly at an end. Getting there. They keep saying that, but it's like the boy who cried, cried wolf. Am I gonna be able to free everybody or not? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find out. Do you have Ah, uh, he got real close. I need that. I need that level boost. She did. Oh, come on. She's like a percent away. I don't really have any choice now. I have to take all three of them. So it's kind of the end of that, really. Which is nice because it, it, it kind of removes the choice of who to, to actually take. I think Tizo might go next if I can free him. I don't really want to get rid of Volfred. I don't know. You return to the wagon after having prevailed against the dissidents in the liberation rate. A fortuitous result. Safe travels to you, Sir Gilman. The rest of us await the day of our reunion on the other side. You succeeded in liberating Sir Gilman, who returned to the Commonwealth in glory. The last light of the stars still shines for us above. At this point, what is it to become of our plan? Need it to be the subject of our speculation? I trust that we'll learn the outcome soon enough. Our actions to this point shall pave the way, perhaps our faith as well. So, let's for now focus on this. We stand upon the brink of the last turn of the cycle of the rights. Soon we'll have the final chance to get one of you home. 
now, Rita. Up for a little stargazing. Let's see where the downside. We shall be returning for these final rites. He says rites. Does it mean this final one? You turn back. Oh. <coughs> you turn back to the, the, down to the darkness. You look down upon the stars. Yes. Where am I going? That's all I want to know. Two options. Ooh, how? And gall. Three options. Journey me. Let's see who we're up against. I don't really care. I'm just going to kind of choose the one I want to fight. So, ah, uh, we got them. Ah, uh, we got them. And we got freaking Sir Manly. They weren't so bad. Let's do it. We're going to fight the Manly. Not so bad, indeed. Once more, you are to face the chastity. And then, although, I wonder... He hesitates before saying anything further. You cannot sense his thoughts. I apologize. I was lost in thought there for a moment. Let us make way for the spring of joy when everyone is feeling more refreshed as much as possible. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, I guess I want to talk to you. 